Welcome, everyone, to Poppy Playtime. For some reason, I thought it was called Poppy's Playtime. Merch. Well, well, well. They have their own plushes. See, that's a pretty huggy wuggy. They've even got a mommy long legs. That is expensive. That is 40 bucks. All aboard. This reminds me of some character I've seen, but I can't say who. And that is one creepy looking man right there. Chapter 1. A Tight Squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Why are we doing this? See, why are we doing this? Look at the shine on this guy's lips. Look at the shine in his eyes. He's got a shiny man. Here's yes, what we have going here. Oh, it is! You are about to see the most oh, incredible doll <laughs> ever invented. Uh -huh. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She uh -huh. is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. I feel believe. like he's not saying. Just watch. Okay, his voice is just the sound's not sunk. Poppy Playtime! Oh, wow. Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. No, really, do you? Let me polish my shoes. What's right? I hate polishing and your like shoes. A real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Your what? hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like yeah, a but does flower. it tangle? Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl, just like you. What's the time? Playtime! All right, Little Miss Opium is giving me a little. If you ever wanted to see how all of the nation's lines. favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just two ninety nine a person. Wow, that's a deal! Or in the most magical toy factory on earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. I don't, I don't know what I'm waiting for. That sounds like a good deal. Well, what's that? That's a poppy on the wall. If I've ever seen a poppy. Poppy playtime. Opium wars. I like it. Kind of reminds me of Tattletail. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. Ten years? Ten years ago, we're still here. Find a flower. Okay. So apparently we received this VHS tape in the mail and fortunately had a VHS player. Ten long years ago. Well, okay. First person. Looks like it's gonna hold up well enough. So I got screen tearing a little. Oh, yes. Escape to pause. You can pause the game. How weird. Ooh. Ooh, hello there, sir. That appears to be a tape. Lathe beer closing. That's not very helpful. Let's access this PC. Never mind. Okay, whatever. I hear somebody is shuffling down the hall. Oh, look at these posters. Who's a shuffling? I see that it, uh, someone appears to have jumped out of the display. You know, there's something glowing down here. I think this is where we're meant to go. Wow, it looks like a giant daycare, but it's also like a toy factory. Look at these amazing little posters right here. Those are cool. Where are you? Look, guys, it's the intestine couch. <coughs> First eat and rack, huh? Oh, crap. Alright, we need a code. Fine with me. We're gonna find a code. Huh. What is this? That is a VHS player. See, press E to interact. I think we just grabbed this. There we go. 
Yes. Where's the There's a TV. Hi. My name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime oh, yeah. Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Oh. Yeah, we played this little oh. tape on loop whenever we closed the factory for the day. So, Shame. trespasser, hey. to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride child ourselves care. on our security. I for is example, this a daycare? The facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, We'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. <laughs> and that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. Oh, really? No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. <laughs> I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. I just want to point out that I had to manually plug the VHS into the wall for this to work, so... Ain't nobody here gonna do nothing. Back to the busted displays. Who is a shuffling? And where? What are these? Huggy. Huggy. Well, they're all ripped out. Candy cat. Interesting. What the crud is making that noise? What the crud is this? What is this? Oh, that's it. It's a little train. Let's see. It's red. It's a green, pink, yellow, and red. I'm gonna take that as uh, the key to get in over here. Because we've seen nothing else. Can we sprint? Man, we must be a child. We run so slow. Green. Green. Pink. Yellow. And red. Well, you see, you should have kept the passcode over there on a little choo-choo train. That's just bad practice right there. Oh, it's just like the DMV waiting room, except lots of computer. Oh, my God. It's like a security array. All right. What is this? Where is the blue VHS? Anybody want to bet there's a... Well... well. There it is. Playtime. Grab pack. Oh, crud. Tighten the straps. Uh huh. Hold both cannons. Cannons. Pull the trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. What the crud is this? Hold to grip an object. Only fire at small objects. Slash handles. Do not fire at co-worker. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Wire is conductive. Used for rewiring. Why would you do that? That is so dangerous. Thank you. Okay. You should grab pack responsibly. Give me this. What's the time? Playtime. How about you? Aha. Uh -huh. Bruh. What the crud? Fire left hand. Oh, wow. We could pull stuff. Do we only have a left hand? Well, hello, child. You're mine. How far is this thing fire? Oh, crud. <laughs> Uh-huh. Guess we could have actually walked through there first. Oh, okay. What's this here? That that is a ginormous man. Playtime. He is a ginormous man. Ah, uh, okay. The doors are opened, just as we've seen. What's the story, Buggy? Okay. Oh. Okay. That got dark. I thought we were friends, and then Huggy Wuggy's like, "Nah, I'm gonna squeeze you till you pop." 
Excuse? What happened, huh? No, okay. All right. With me other arm, huh? Huggy. What does he got up there? Huggy, you've got something up there. A key. Does it let me in here? Thank you. It does. Staff only. Pfft, I'm basically staff. Aha, uh -huh, we've got us. What the fuck is all this stuff? Very difficult to tell. Uh, remember, do be kind to others. Show up on time. Do not hide behind doors to scare Lace Pierre. Oh, don't stay past 8 p.m. Or misuse company time or tamper with machinery. Or enter the innovation wing without authorization. Okay, we're not supposed to enter this part right here. Enter innovation without authorization. Yeah, see, that seems like a, like an issue there. Aha, uh -huh. well, we've got a left hand thing here. We don't own a right hand. High voltage, it's fine. Grab to the first power. It's fine, I'm just gonna stretch this around over here. Oh, so close. Oh, we did it there. Well, well, well. We've done it, gentlemen. That's interesting. What is this? Looks like a little crawly pipe some little freak's gonna crawl out of. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, as one might suspect, the giant huggy has disappeared. Is anyone surprised? No. Me neither. Let me in here. Give me my hand back. Make a friend. Candy cat. Yum. Eat, it says. Well. Alright, I saw that. You want to hug me? Stairway to hell. Okay, well, your E is backwards. That's the problem there. Do I enter? Don't tell me what to do. I'll enter where I like. I can't see anything. Ah! It almost blew that in my face. Can you stop? Maybe I'll crawl underneath it. Dark as crud. And we should have taken the stairway to hell. Look, there's a cute little huggy wuggy up there. I see. I see. There appears to be a loading bay. Loading bay dope. Uh, oh, I'm a beefy boy. I knocked that thing over real easy like. Aha! We require an orange VHS tape. Let's hold up a second. What could it be down in there? We might have to knock these boxes. Ah, we got some power issues here. Oh, well, look. They printed, oh uh, man, Poppy. I forgot almost. I thought this game was called Huggy Wuggy for a second. We see more of him than anyone else. That's a nope. That's a nothing. Alright, I'm just gonna jump down here. Bring this with me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Indeed, there appears to be another thing over here. Okay. Open this door for me. Oh, it's just the other side. I see. Well, well, well. That works. Okay, what we got here? Handle with care. There you are. Just what we needed. Let's go over here and see what's going on. We already know that Huggy's gonna want to squeeze me to death, but I think they're gonna let me watch the VHS before that happens, so. Rich, where are they keeping the Huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? No. 
though. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, what is the video I off? A single box in its place as they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. But, uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it because we can't find stupid hockey boxes. Rich. What? Oh, you're right. The illusion it, Rich? It's, it's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything. Would be more habitable. Huh. Is, is that even a word? Habitable. I didn't even read what was going on with that tape, but whatever. Oh, something right there. Orange one. I think that was his reflection. Alright, find a PC box. Give me that. What aren't you mine? There we go. All right, we just gotta run back up there. Too bad Huggy can't see to find me. He must be lost on the other side of the place. Beautiful, we've done it. What have we done? It's a claw. Aha, the claw. What is it grabbing? Bring that back over here. What is that? Well, yeah. Oh, it's my red hand. All right, we're going down. Give me that. Yes. We've done it. We have the hands. There we go. Left and right. It works. What's back here? Darkness. Should have known. Whee. What? Ah. Roller coaster. Yes, but where shall we go, huh? Very dark up in here. I didn't do anything. Wasn't me. Not front. Still wasn't me. You gonna light up another light on? Look at all these parts. I see. Wow, wow, wow. What in the world? What a place. Make a friend. Ah, I see it's the make a friend thing. Everyone knows about that. All right, it better work. What's going on down there, huh? Everything seems to have lit up. All right, what about you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Make a friend, 1960. Our founder. Yeah. Oh, that's loud. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Code's greatest feats. Yet, of all the amazing things he created, the Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It's solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Code toy show. Wow. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and then it will paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy. All on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or backbreaking labor. This machine can do all that. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, that's it. Alright. Let's give it some toys. Okay, there's a... Uh, there's some parts. Give it, here we go. Nice, wonderful. You got in there. Alright, good. Got a wonderful little toy. It's on its way. You gonna make me my toy? There goes the head. Where's the rest of it gonna come out? Where's my toy? Uh huh. Oh, he's doing something. Oh, he seems to have painted it. 
Yeah, there's... Well, well, there go all the parts. Up into this sad, sad fellow. Let's see here. It's gonna come out over here, eventually. Did you break? Alright, I was about to say, did you break? What the crud is going on up in here? My toy! That must be the quality inspector unit. Wow. It's a broken... Sit him down, huh? He's done. Sit him down over here. What do we got here? What is this thing? It's a little toy. Yeah, I see. We got him. He's in our inventory now. This looks like a place he could go. Scanning. Yes. Oh, wow. Toy accepted. Ooh, I see. All right. Locked, are we? Stairs to hell. Have we been on the other side of this? Is that where we Oh, what a fraud! Oh, no! Stop! There we go. <laughs> Press the wrong button! It's fine, don't worry about me. That's gonna suck. Oh, is he in defense? Whoa! Danger! Don't! What? I'm running for my life right now. Whoa! <laughs> Hoagie, you piece of trash! Don't let them inside. Say like, what? Get up, okay? Am I leave? I accidentally pressed my Windows key, which is right next to the shift, as you know. Not great. Ooh, okay. Oh, what? It's open again, so I guess we get a retrial. I think that's the the moral here. Oh, there he is. Goodbye, sir. And he's a tall one. We go this way. Ah, I didn't even see that. He's a crawling after us. Na, 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 na. I go the danger way. I'm made of danger. I'm Uncle Danger. My nickname is Danger Junior. Run you sack of trash. Oh, see, that's a problem. That's a problem when Huggy walks. <laughs> I think I needed a duck under there. Innovation of Kate, how dare you? I talk about my life. Thank you, science. Are you saying that Mr. Wuggy is uh, the consequence of what one might call science? Alright. There we are. What the crud? Oh, that's a wuggy. Oh, me! Oh, my crud! That's scared. That's scared right there. I don't want to have to redo this. Run, you turd! Crud me, go! I'm just pulling with all my might. Mr. Wuggy. Turn back danger. Oh, yeah. Man, if I could walk, that would be so helpful right now. Run, you. Oh, I bet the conveyors are going the wrong way. Run, walk it. Goodbye, freak. Can I have my hand back? 
My hand fell with a crate. See, that's unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Oof. All right. Found a flower. Ooh. See, this is what they call the conveyor belt area. Wow. At least Mr. Wuggy took a little bit of a trip. Hmm. That's definitely the flower that we're supposed to be looking for. Why would I want to go down there? It doesn't make any sense. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Give me that. Alright, we never found the pink tape, but it didn't exactly look very hard, so... We missed that. Let's see what this has to say. What's going on here? Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. Uh -huh. Prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Okay. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. Ooh. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Huh. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. Yeah, I'm really. I'm worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... Oh, that was on your thing, see, mmm. Yeah. Stop, run, danger, turn around, go back. You know what? There's nobody to go, so. We survived Mr. Wuggie's incident. Boop, bop. Look at all these toys. Man, Mr. Rim, you need to make a plush of that. I don't know if you're watching, but like some of these some of these toys right here, you could make some pretty decent plushes. I like to look at that dinosaur a whole lot. That's just pretty. Run, stop. No, no, don't wanna. Okay. And what else? Look at this and think, hmm, why is there a house? Whatever. High five. Thought we were gonna slide. These are steps, though. That makes sense. So it's not an entirely haunted house. Now, where's Poppy? Forgot all about Poppy. This isn't Huggy Wuggy's playtime. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Alright, let's see here. Ooh, there's a little door behind this thing. What's this, huh? High five. Books. Ain't nobody got time for books. Let's pull this thing. What? We can't pull it, but there's a door back there. Why is it so red and evil looking up here? Oh, that's why. It's fine. I just wanted to give you a high five. You opened my case. Yeah. Was that bad? Oh, man, guys, I love this. I should have looked at this earlier. That was really good. A lot shorter than I thought, but hey, it was free. And so, you can't complain. Free and beautiful and my crud. I would love to do a plush episode of that. I'm gonna talk to him one. I'm gonna try to plan out how to do it. But I would love to do one because we haven't had a, a good series like that in a while. Something that we can really make a bunch of cool props for and stuff. But this one, oof. I'm gonna be honest, the big challenge would be for all the colors involved. That means a lot of painting. However, 
I just built the Princess Quest Arcade. And I figured out some new methods to put colors down on cardboard. So, with that in mind, I think we could do it. I think we could pull it off. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably be back for Chapter 2. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye!